Why Bwari must not negotiate with Namde Kano? It is dangerous and disastrous. Not an elder one. In recent times, the president, Mwame Buhari led federal government, has been advised by some political analysts to negotiate with the secessionist leader and groups. This group includes the indigenous people of Biafran Ipo, led by Namde Kano, and the Yoruba nation agitators, led by Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Iboho. Today, Joey Bukwe, a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, took to his Facebook handle to join his voice with those actively calling on the president to negotiate with agitators. Why this move is actually made? Commendable since it aims to restore lasting peace to regions troubled by the actions of secessionists. I believe it is a bad idea for the federal government to negotiate with agitators. First, the agitators have clearly stated that only want the country to divide so that their republics can be established. How then is the federal government and the president supposed to negotiate with a group of people who have made up their mind to carry out activities that would undermine peace in the country? Also, it would be wrong for the president to negotiate with agitators because by doing so, other secessionist groups will spring up for negotiation after the current set of agitators decide to sheet their sword. The country has learned perhaps in a hard way that the worst approach to solving insecurity problem is by negotiating with those behind violent activities. A few months ago, Governor Nasser Erofai of Kaduna has banned negotiation between families of abducted victims and bandits in the state. Erofai revealed that the bandits were using the money they were being paid to reinforce and further launch more attacks on Kaduna residents, hence the ban. I think this should serve as a pointer to those asking President Mohamed Buhari to negotiate with secessionists in the country. He should not even bother. He should not bother to negotiate because IPOP is not even interested in the negotiation. IPOP is not even calling for any negotiation because IPOP is not ready to forgo the Biafran nation for a one Nigerian or for the unity of, of Nigeria. IPOP is not even ready to negotiate because IPOP has already made up their mind for a very long time to remain more and resolute in their pursuit for Biafran struggle. So I wonder why anybody would be thinking that IPOP um, is actually asking for a negotiation. Okay, you stated the point that negotiating with IPOP will give them opportunity to ask for the unbelievable. <laughs> what do you think is the unbelievable that IPOP is going to ask apart from asking for for the the, 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 the the actualization or the pronouncement of their republic. Of course that is what they will ask for. What else do you do you, do you expect from, from, from the from the IPOP members? And to me, I'm not lying to you, it's not too much to ask. These guys are not asking for too much. It is their right. It is their right. Give it to them and there will be peace. Let me tell you something. Nigerian as it is now has experienced too much in terms of insecurity and it is killing everyone right now the country is not at peace so many things is happening and so many things has happened of late and so many things are still happening and for these things that are happening to come to stop there is need there is need for the country to divide. Not quite long, a condition was put up before Unam Kanu before it can be released from detention. 
Nigerians don't know what they they don't even know what they are asking for. They don't know. And before asking for such thing, they would have looked at the face of the person they are asking that such a thing from. Do they look Mazin and the to be someone that is ready to forfeit Biafran freedom just because of his release? <laughs> See, I know vividly well from the beginning that that is the main reason for for the extradition of Mazin and the Kanu because they want to they want to subject Nam the Kanu to torture and pain to the extent that he will now be forced to pronounce and and, and denounce the Biafran agitation. But then, despite all of that, has Nam the Kanu denounced Biafran freedom? Has he denounced Biafran agitation? Instead, the young man is even getting stronger by the day. He's getting stronger by the day. The spirit of Biafran that is in him is getting him stronger by the day. That is not the best way. That's not the best way. Lamido brought up a suggestion of such. But then, I tell you that Mazin Amdikano is not the type that can fall for such tricks. I'm telling you, that's not it. So, asking Buari not to negotiate is not something that IPOP is even asking for. Because the IPOP that I know are not even ready to negotiate. Before Namdekar was captured, he said it that we are not in a hurry to actualize the Biafran, free, to, to the Biafran nation. When Nigeria is ready, they will call on the Biafran and say, please people should come and get your freedom. What I feel and see is that Nigeria is getting tired because many things are happening now. A lot of persons are now calling for Biafran freedom now. Some Northerners are calling for Biafran freedom. Look at, um, that was three weeks ago, the um, Northern women carried out a protest to, um, to Aso Villa requesting that they are tired, that they are tired, that Buari should grant Biafrans their freedom, that they will be the one to suffer it when their husbands are no more. They will be the one to care for the children, they will be the one to, to, to labor for the children. A lot of things is going to happen, that they don't want any war, that the war of 1967 has taught them a lesson, that the Biafrans should be granted their freedom. Mm -hmm. But because Bori is a very stubborn kind of human being who doesn't listen to advice, he, he, he kept his head down and said no. Okay? So, my dear viewers in the house, based on this very fact, what do you think? What's your opinion? Let me hear from you to know what you have to say. If you are new, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.